Okay, we've got another one coming in. In fact, it's already in in some parts this morning, Damon. How much oh, yeah. snow are we expecting here? Well, we're going to get uh, more piling up. Uh, not as much as we got out of that storm this weekend, but you can see we've got some snow over northern Utah, pretty much from Utah County north, although in the far north, some of the showers are letting up a little bit more, which is great news, but the roads are still going to be slick in spots. Uh, we've got some of the snow coming down uh, in the Ogden area and uh, points north. The pink indicating some of that is mixed in with rain because temperatures are actually pretty mild this morning. Uh, we also have some of that snow coming down in Davis County, mainly from uh, Farmington north toward Layden, and then across parts of uh, Tooele, Salt Lake Valley. It's heavy over the south end of the Salt Lake Valley, but toward the central part of it, you can see the green indicating some rain because of those mild temperatures. We're actually a little bit above freezing in Salt Lake where it's 34, although with a breeze west 13 miles per hour, that makes it feel like it's 25. And any slight drop in temperature means that a lot of that rain will change back over to snow and that makes accumulation a lot more likely. So even if it doesn't look like you have snow covered roads outside your house right now, you still want to give yourself plenty of time to get around. We've got temperatures that are in the 20s and 30s across most of the state. Cold front slowly moving south along and behind that will get the snow primarily over northern Utah, but another system drops in behind it into the uh, far western southern part of the state later this evening, and that'll get precipitation going in that part of the state. Now, Salt Lake will warm up to 40, which still puts us about 15 degrees below normal for this time of year. Upper 20s in Park City mid 40s in Cedar City, 60 in St. George. Snow most likely in the north this morning into early afternoon. It lets up, decreases second part of the day, and then we'll get a mix of rain and snow showers going over central Utah and in the south later this afternoon and evening. Now, we're expecting another 5 to 10 inches of snow piling up in the Wasatch Mountains. That's on top of what we already got last night. Similar amounts in the Central Mountains. Northern Valleys will be within that 1 to 3 inch range, although the farther north you are, the lighter the amounts will be at this point. We could get 2 to 4 along the Wasatch Back and then in Central Utah along parts of the I-15 corridor uh, north of I-70. Uh, one to four inches, same thing in San Pete Valley. So some of you uh, have some shoveling to do. St. George, you get a chance of some uh, rain and snow showers late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Otherwise, you'll dry out tomorrow afternoon, but it's going to be colder with some gusty canyon winds. And then with high pressure building, big warm up this weekend. You'll make it all the way up near 70 by Sunday afternoon. And for northern Utah, we might get some lake effect developing tomorrow morning. Otherwise, we'll be drying out and it gets a lot colder behind this storm. Morning temperatures next couple days drop all the way down into the teens, but it doesn't stay that way. Big warm up this weekend. It'll be mostly sunny and by Sunday afternoon, we'll make it up to 51 degrees.